Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and this is a series that I'm doing, a small series, where we're going to explore a little more Microsoft Edge browser. So Microsoft Edge is uh, the browser that comes with Windows 10 and of course it was introduced with Windows 10 in 2015 and that was with the legacy version of Windows, of Microsoft Edge, which uh, was different and had its own engine, then at some point it never really took off and at some point Microsoft started thinking about where to go next and that's where they redesigned from the ground up Microsoft Edge using Chromium as the code base. Now a lot of uh, people are on the impression that Microsoft Edge Chromium using Chromium is Google Chrome which is far from the truth. Uh, Chromium is an open source code base that browsers use to actually build on. It's not Google Chrome at all. It's just using, uh, like Chrome, like Opera, and like many other browsers, it's just using the Chromium engine base. That's it. Around it, you can build a browser that's extremely different and very, very unique. And Microsoft has done some of that by actually making it more of its own Microsoft-oriented browser. A lot of people are under the impression that this got pushed on them without their consent or they're going crazy over it. Edge was there since the beginning. There's nothing pushed on you. They're just upgrading it to the latest version, that's all. As for the rest, if you're not happy with it, you just ignore it, and that's as simple as that. Um, I'll repeat it. I find that it's uh, rather um, rather dumb to go crazy on uh, Microsoft Edge on a, on a PC. Every operating system has its own browser. Every operating system. So um, there's nothing different here, and uh, it's certainly not being pushed on you more than anything else. As for the browser itself, it is, of course, oriented for more privacy and also it is oriented for speed, battery life, and also towards Microsoft uh, content, rather than like Google Chrome, trying to push you more into the Google ecosystem. It is, for most of you, already pre-installed as this little icon that uh, you see here at the bottom of my screen that I have uh, clicked. Um, if it's not, I'll have the link where you can download it and install it right away. It will eventually, if you still are on the legacy edge, it will eventually be there for most of you as Microsoft is really pushing hard to have the new version uh, replace the old version and make sure that the old version is gone as it is uh, now something that you don't really want to use anymore. Uh, it, does, it does miss on some of the features of the um, original Edge that people that some people liked. For example, set tabs aside, which was a nice feature. They replaced it with some other features like, you know, collections and so on. But in this series that I will do a playlist, um, we'll be looking at Edge in its different ways and comparing also talking a little bit about Edge versus Chrome, which is the most popular version of the uh, of web browser right now. And, of course, we'll show you some of the settings and some of the ways to customize the browser that um, you have into what is a uh, more personalized experience. You have to have the latest version for all of this to work, the latest version. As of today, Monday, uh, March 8th, 2021, go on the upper right corner in the three horizontal dots, go in Help and Feedback about Microsoft Edge here you should be at 89, so that is important, 89.0.774.45 or higher because if you see this video in a few weeks, there could have been some updates that actually make this browser version uh, advanced, but at least version 89 is what you need. If you haven't been there, well, just doing this will actually force you into version 89. So more videos to come, all in a playlist, so if you want to just enjoy them one after the other, they'll be uh, in a playlist called Microsoft Edge. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.